and drop. Drip. Drop top, drop top. Smoking no cook in the hot box. Cooking, fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Cooking up dope in the crock pot. pot. We came from nothing to something, nigga. Hey. I don't try nobody to grit the trick. Nobody call up the gang and they come and get janked. Cry me a river, give you a tissue. Bad and bullshit, bad. Cooking up dope with a Uzi. Bye. My niggas are savage, ruthless. We got better than 100 rounds, too. My bitch is bad and bullshit, bad. Cooking up dope with a Uzi. Dude. My niggas are savage, ruthless. Hey. We got better than 100 rounds, too. All set. Got back in some back in some riding around in a coupe. I take your food right from you. Bitch, I'm a dog. Be the whole walls loose. Hop in the fall. Hey y'all, welcome back to the start of a new vlog. If this is your first time here, I am Mika Lachey. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can come back and vibe. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back. Y'all know I appreciate you. Got that out of the way. Anyways, y'all, um, basically we started this vlog off with showing y'all how to dye a 613 to an ash blonde. I used the at-home color because, well, an at-home box color because I figured it's something that y'all can get. But, of course, I'm a licensed cosmetologist. I usually use, like, Reckon or um, Matrix products um, at my salon because, of course, I'm not going to put no box products on paying customers. That's not what you come to me for so i used the revlon um 60 i think it was number 60 ash blonde to dye the wig and yeah just to give y'all a little tip on how to dye get that yellow out of the uh, 613s and yeah this is not a good wig this is just a wig that i had in the closet that i have not i wasn't finna do nothing with so i just decided to do something with it today i'm not gonna keep this wig on because yeah your girl's not gonna walk around with no blonde hair i'm not i'm not i did it one time in miami i went to miami and i wore blonde hair but overall i'm not a person that yeah I ain't no blonde hair girl and i'm also not a wig girl i'm still old school i like me a little good leave out um little leave out type situation but Y'all be rocking the hell out of them wigs. Y'all look good with y'all. I'm just not confident enough yet to wear it. Because I be feeling like people like staring like, is that a wig? So, anyways, that's what we got going on. We're going to keep this wig on for the moment though. We're going to put some clothes on. We're going to uh, go to the store. I want to redo my kitchen. I've been telling y'all for the longest I want to redo stuff in my house. But I guess I'm going to start with the kitchen. I want to make like... A little coffee area because i got a whole lot of empty space where my little coffee machine is at so i want to do something with that and um yeah we're gonna run to these stores we've been trying to get to the stores for how many vlogs now to start working on this and we're gonna we're gonna accomplish it today we're gonna go to the store and it's monday we gotta go get junior from school midday so after that i don't know what we're gonna do we're just going with the flow today i gotta test for some gumbo we might end up going to the beach to get some gumbo i don't know we shall see we're going with the flow but anyways let's go put some clothes on and get out the house Bad and bullshit, bad. Looking up though with a Uzi. Do my niggas a savage roof. So we got better than Hunter Ross too. So I decided to just grab some cobble real quick. Post have been real quick. So I can do all this extra running around. I gotta do why this took an additional 25 minutes past the time. It's supposed to be ready. I could have just went out to eat. y'all up in so long it's been i don't even know what the date was the last time i picked y'all up but today is saturday september 30th and last time i picked y'all up i think we was going to shop to get some stuff for the kitchen to work on the kitchen do like a little coffee bar and just do some decoration in which i got in the store and it wasn't piece of, it wasn't coming together so i was like i'm gonna just go on amazon and look for some stuff or whatever but then i was like you know what girl you all over the place like one minute you talking about accomplishing other things the next minute you trying to spend unnecessary money like it's one thing if your house was empty and you had nothing in it and you was trying to furnish it because 
you know whatever whatever but just because you over here watching everybody else trying to be an influence influencer and getting influenced all the goddamn time girl sit down so well so i mean i'm gonna still do my little thing or whatever but it's no rush to do it because like i said it's so easy it's so easy to get influenced and buy stuff that you really don't need just because you see somebody else not because you see somebody else doing it but because you like the way something else look and you be like dang i should do that that's cute i should do that but then meanwhile ain't nothing really wrong with what you got going on so you really just spending unnecessary money anyways yeah so currently we are headed to go to the pool so that's why i ain't got no lashes on or whatever I was like, what's the point of putting on lashes when you finna go get in the pool? What's the point of putting on makeup when you finna go get on in the pool? So I didn't do all that. We just gonna get out the house and enjoy our day. Actually move our body around. Like I said, swim a little, play a little in the pool. And um, yeah, that's what we got on the plan for now. It is the day by halfway gone. It's finna be dark in a little while, but I was still like, girl, pick them up. Pick them up. You ain't spent no time with them people pick the camera up so that's basically what we got going on right now headed out to the condo to um hang out by the pool get in the pool all of that good stuff and enjoy the rest of our saturday and we're most definitely gonna spend some time tomorrow too tomorrow is sunday i'm gonna promise them two guys on mine that i'm gonna I'm cook them a sunday meal because yeah so we're gonna do that tomorrow but as of right now we're headed to the condo meet me there hold on hold on speed it up chilled out to the condo for a little while and then I end up um coming home because I'm just ready to, to just like relax because I had work yesterday and um I was ready to come home and chill take a bath relax or whatever even though I was relaxing at the condo I still was like just ready to come home and get in my bed but hanging out with the girls yesterday was a good time and um now i am sitting here cutting up greens and i got up and i cleaned up i'm washing clothes i need to uh fold some clothes pretty much just doing my sunday chores y'all know how i do on sundays cook wash clean all that little stuff or whatever but um, right now i'm cutting up greens and i know y'all say god lee you gonna cook greens every day but i told y'all my baby like greens and I have not cooked him some greens for at least probably maybe the last three weeks to a month. It's been a couple weeks. At least three weeks since I cooked greens. Um, and I've been, because the last, what, two Sundays or so? I don't even think I cooked. I just did, like, I was slicky with the quickie. I was cooking quick meals on Sundays, um, the last couple of Sundays. But, um... I told the fellas I would cook them some green, some soul food today. So, um, and being that I got picky eaters, two male picky eaters on my hand, um, meaning they don't eat a variety of vegetables, greens is like they go to. Even though by the time I finish making these greens, ain't nothing healthy about them when I got all this foolishness going on. So, 
I'm sitting here cutting the greens up and I said that I was gonna pick y'all up today. So I'm a woman of my word. And um and yeah. Finish doing this. Do y'all be cutting y'all greens up properly? Because I've been looking at some people green, especially like when I go to restaurants and stuff. Look like y'all, they just like break them up with their hand or whatever. I'm gonna show y'all how y'all supposed to cut greens up from a country girl that lived in the silk. The silk, Mississippi. Um, my folks from Mississippi. And so I, I know how to make some country food. But uh, I'm gonna show y'all how to cook these. I'm gonna turn y'all around and show y'all how to cut greens because apparently some of y'all don't know. And I'm gonna help y'all out. Each one, teach one. Okay, hopefully y'all at a good angle. I think y'all is, let me see. Might need to turn y'all a little bit. But, um, so what you're gonna do is, you're gonna get like, you're gonna start with like on the bottom, you're gonna find like the big leaves and you're gonna stack the big leaves and you're gonna stack them up to there or leading up to like smaller um, leaves. So from biggest to smallest, and then once you get them established, you going you're going to like my smokers. This gonna be easy for y'all to smoke. Um, well, not a roll blunts, but pretty much like you gonna roll a blunt. You just gonna roll it up like so. Roll. Then once you get you a tight little roll, I hope y'all can see, cause I can't see from the camera. So once you get you a tight little roll, you're going to start from this, from the smaller end, and you're just gonna slice them. And a lot of people, Southern people like their greens sl sliced small. So you're just gonna slice them like so. Slice, 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 until you get all the way to the end. And I'm gonna show y'all cause I ain't gonna be wasting my, my um, memory cords in here cutting greens up. I'm gonna show y'all once I finish cutting these greens up, how they should look once you're done cutting them up. So once you done cutting them, they should look shredded, like shredded pieces of paper, like so. They should not be all like you just took the greens and got pieces like this and just broke them up like this. That, that is not how a Southern women do greens. And I'm sick of y'all acting like that's how they're supposed to be done. Not taking mine. It ain't gonna make your greens taste no different because they ain't on. Um, I don't think it do. Some people swear it do. Like if they ain't cut right, they ain't gonna taste right. But um, really, it ain't gonna um make your greens taste no different. It's just like it's a mind thing for us southern women. But um, well, us country women, it's a mind thing. I ain't gonna say southern because I know some southern people that don't really kill um how their greens look but me personally if i don't see them like that i don't think you can put your foot in them i'll be like mm, they give them restaurant caucasian restaurant vibes but anyways i'm gonna see here and i'm gonna cut these greens up honey your girl gonna cut these greens up and I done made cornbread, got mac. oh, I need to check the macaroni and cheese. I got macaroni and cheese and Fran got to have, y'all already know, I got to have baked beans with this macaroni. So I got baked beans and then I'm finna go out here and light this damn grill. How do I keep letting them convince me to get on this damn grill? I got, I got to stand my ground. I really need to stand my ground, but, um, yeah, I'm ready to get this done so I can take a bath, calm my hair. And me and friend might go to the seafood festival. Um, why y'all not focused? Hold on, something going on. Something going on with the camera's not focusing. 
Unless my eyes just blur, cause baby, these eyes are getting bad. But um, we might go to the seafood festival. I'm not sure. I'm really cool with just chilling in the house and not really doing much. I have really been on this kick where I just want to relax. Like, I just want a simple, peaceful life. I feel like I'm always just going, doing, going, doing. And I read a um thing a meme the other day that said um pretty much like black women it's okay not to be doing stuff like it's okay to just relax you don't have to always be on go mode you don't have to always feel like you need to be achieving something or whatever the case is you can you can rest sometimes so you know we always be feeling like we not doing enough we don't have enough Instead of sometimes just being grateful for, you know, enjoying where you at. It's always, damn, I'm, I'm not doing enough. I don't have enough. I feel like it's, it's real bad with the black the black women. Like, we just, it's like we be trying to just prove ourselves constantly. Constantly trying to prove ourselves. But, um, it's okay. It's okay not to just always be doing something. Um, so... Yeah, let me do this. Then I want to mop my kitchen. Then I just say it's okay not to be doing something. <laughs> but once I get finished, I'm going to be able to sit down. And I worry. So, I need to mop my kitchen floor and fold them clothes. Take a bath. Once I finish with the grill. And, um, yeah. And then later on, I'm going to edit this vlog and it's probably gonna be short as hell i always say that and then when i get the footage i'll be like oh you got too much cut it down but i know for a fact this is gonna be short because i ain't picked y'all up i ain't been picking y'all up so edit this vlog this evening and probably get it up this evening i might i might and i told myself when i do i'm not gonna like i said last vlog be just trying to promote um promote the vlog on you know all my social medias i might because i do see some girls that's actually popping like that just popping popping and they still put their stuff they let uh instagram and different people know their uh they drop the vlog or a post or whatever but honestly i'm just i'm just in one of them phases where i just want new i just I also seen a meme say it's okay to start your life over you the main character of your own um, story to start your life over and just become a new character if you want to and that's just where i'm at i'm just like to the point where i'm like i want to just create a whole another instagram a whole another just just start a heart or be a whole another character take on a whole another character because i don't like this one i don't like this character this character, I feel like, been placed in a box. I feel like this character been placed in a box, and I don't. I'm I'm ready to break out the box, rip me out the plastic. I want to act brand new. Yeah. So, get the greens done. I might even go grocery shopping because I've been picking up stuff here and there, and I'm sick of that grocery store. It take too much money. And the shit ain't lasting. Like, damn. They they got past the government shutdown. They agreed to do something. Like, agree to give us some coins. Us that's not rich. I ain't talking about y'all rich people that got it all and, you know, don't need nothing and popping. And I'm talking about us single mothers. Media. What? What is it called? I ain't medium. Middle class. Middle class. Single mothers. That's trying not to sell no cat a crack. Cut us a chick. Damn it. Before we get to selling crack and cat. Okay, another thing. Make sure y'all wash them greens when y'all you know some 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 of y'all be buying the ones in the bag but the one when you buy them and cut them up you got to wash them things really 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 good like several times you can't just 
throw them in the pot. Don't nobody want to eat sand. Don't nobody want to eat no sand. So what I do is I do this several times. Oh shit, I'm doing more than I do this several times. And yeah. If you want to know how what all I put in my greens, I'ma link the um video down low where I actually cooked um a meal on camera like I had made some greens and barbecue and different stuff. And I'll link that down low if y'all want to go back back and watch that vlog. But, um, yeah. Let's let's wash these greens so we can get them in a pot. And don't put no goddamn soap in these greens. You wash them with water. Because, you know, some of y'all cuckoo. Y'all be thinking I'm talking about putting soap and stuff and washing the greens. Don't know. Uh, be asking me what, what you put. How, what you wash them with. When I say wash, I mean get all the sand out, like wash them a lot with water. You don't want to change the flavor into a soapy fat flavored green. Although I said I was not going to keep doing this. Um, me talking about cutting greens up and washing them and all that. I'm not talking about anybody in particular. I'm not talking about anybody in particular. People take stuff so personal and I hate that I have to keep And my friend told me don't do this because whatever um i hate that i have to say i'm not talking about anyone but people take stuff so personal nowadays and it's because i had i seen this also this meme also it says you mad at what i said or you mad because it's true you mad at what i said or you mad because it's true um and that really hit home with me it's kind of like that hit dog collar thing. People tend to get mad at the person when they make a statement that is true about them instead of just going in and saying, maybe I should fix that so I don't get, because clearly you're mad at yourself really and you just want to take it out on somebody else. But um, people tend to get mad at the person that said it instead of fixing the problem. And we're living in a sensitive world instead of you you don't want to look at that mirror in your face. You'd rather nobody say nothing about it. So, yeah. So, anyways, I'm not going to keep on doing this with all my vlogs. Hey, I'm not talking about nobody. I'm not talking about nobody. Because, what? If you don't like it, fix it. Because I'm sure if I said, a person with $8 million always blah, 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 blah. You ain't going to feel it. Because you ain't got $8 million. So, you ain't going to think I'm talking about you. So clearly, if it's something that I say and it bothers you, it's because you can relate to it. And a lot of times I say it because I can relate to it. So I know from experience, this is what it is. And I got passed. You get what I'm saying? So anyways, I just wanted to say that real quick. Um, let me finish up doing what I'm doing. Your girl is in the house being very lazy. Very lazy today. It's Sunday, fun day, ain't been Sunday, fun day. I done cooked, I done took a bath, I'm chilling, don't feel like doing nothing. The day about gone, but hey. But I just turned on the camera to tell y'all about this drink since, you know, I usually give y'all dinner and a cocktail. But my client, oh, this little lighting got my lips looking real dark. It's the lighting. But my client, um told me about i had a whole brain fart right then whole brain fart <laughs> my client had told me about these drinks i just had to get my son to bring them in here to me so i can tell y'all about them because i didn't even feel like going to stand in the kitchen i know y'all tired of looking at my kitchen so i had to come in here to tell y'all about the drinks but anyways the company or the um that makes the drink is monaco screenshot if you want to and in this particular one i got a couple of different flavors i tried this blue crush um the mata flavored one and they pretty much to me are just like mixed cocktail drinks inside of cans and this is the sun crush and then this one i have not tried it's the purple court crush i um haven't tried this one but basically this um monaco blue crush 
it's vodka tequila gin and rum this one is i tried this one and it's good that one's good the my Thai one is good as well and this one has it's rum based it has on the like on the can which which flavor is what and then the purple purple crush is the one that i have not tried and it's a cognac version um the reason why i ain't tried the purple because i'm not a cognac girl my client told me she drunk two of the purple ones and she's like don't drink two of them purple ones because she said she she about to cuss everybody out so um the purple can is uh cognac if you're a cognac girl a guy or whatever and then the sun crush is tequila um orange liqueur so it's pretty much like probably like a um tequila sunrise and i tried this one this one was good all of them was good i haven't tried the purple but they got different flavors they got like a lime crush too and i think it's a tequila um flavor so it might be like probably like a margarita or something like that but um i ain't gonna drink now one of them because your girl is not drinking nothing today i'm not stunned drinking i ain't been i ain't been wanting to drink lately so um but i did have these because you can buy them by like the six pack but if you buy them individual what what i live they're like two 80 a piece 279 something like that a piece which is very cheap so i felt like it was gonna give me a headache i was like girl what you got me trying because yeah cheap stuff make my head hurt i tell people all the time i don't be like oh i drank 1942 patron like i don't do that just for like the the brand of it i do it so i don't have headaches when i drink cheap stuff my head hurt get mad at my baby daddy for introducing me to the finer things in life at a young age so this body grew up on expensive things so therefore when i try to put cheap stuff in it it rejects it really bad don't get mad at me get mad at my baby daddy but um so yeah this um uh, these are some pretty good things like they're pretty good pretty tasty for two dollars and eighty cents and like I said, I ain't had no headache. Give you a little slight buzz. They only got like 9% volume. 9% alcohol volume. But they give you like if you want to just drink one like after work or just a little chill type vibe. You ain't trying to be all like, ah, 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 ah. you just want to be on some chill type stuff. It's, it'll get the job done. So anyways, I just came back on here to tell y'all about these screenshot. Yeah, to tell y'all about them so y'all can try them out since I ain't make y'all no cocktail. I ain't invited y'all over on Sunday, fun day, and I ain't give y'all no cocktail. So, boom, there go your cocktail. Yeah, like I said, I ain't got nothing planned. I'm laying, sitting here with my nightgown on, trying to avoid going to going to stores, running around. We ain't doing it today. We just chilling, we vibing out, we watching TV, we feeling good, we got the candles lit whole vibe up in this thing and yeah if anything changed today friend supposed to be coming over here to eat but um other than that if anything changed today i'll pick y'all up i really want to go back out to the beach i really did my friends called like you come back out here or what i really wanted to go back out there but i didn't feel like driving like first thing i'm gonna do when i win this powerball and i win this money and i'm giving me a driver i'm getting me a driver i'm not with the driving anymore i'm gonna have a driver because now god don't take no car from away from me don't let nothing happen well i can't drive but what i'm saying is when you put me in a better position i'm going to pay somebody to do that for me get it god so yeah because the whole the whole driving thing will make me sit in the house every day all day because that car made me sleepy i'll be telling friend like i think i got a gas leak or something because why when i get in this car i'll be like oh, i'm gonna lay down i hate i hate it i hate it and since i don't stay directly in town 
having to drive back and forth and over and y'all don't even know how many miles i'm gonna put on that car but anyways we're gonna sit here chill out vibe out and like i say if some change i'll come back and talk to y'all or whatever and if not Matter of fact, I'm going to come back and at least tell y'all good night before I close this vlog out. We're going to get that understood. Because I'm going to close this vlog out right. Sure is. <laughs>